G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and tonight I want to talk to you about the LS24 Extendable Boom Arm from Vigim. Yes, so Ulanzi worked with Vigim and they sent me this boom arm to review, and so I've written a full written review that you can see all the details of this, and the link is in the description below. But I thought I'd do a complimentary video just so you can see for yourself, because I know some of you are just visual learners rather than writable learners. This is the boom arm. Um, first of all, you need to know it's three parts. So one, two, three. It attaches to the desk by this funky little design and can fit on a desk as fat as 50 mils, or 50 mils thick, I should say, rather than fat. Don't want to be inappropriate. It's got these two junctions and then a third junction here that has the mounting mechanism on it. So let's start at the base. On the back of the each arm you have cables that can fit into a groove and they're held in place by these black little clips just like so there's two clips here three clips here and three clips here so if you want a microphone you want to mount a microphone to this if you're doing some some vlogging and have a mic just sitting here you can do that quite easily and have it nicely tucked away it would be good if there was a groove in the back of these joins which there isn't so obviously the wire would come out and go around this is actually spring loaded so if i undo this it actually it can go straight and then it wants to when it gets to here look So, so there's some tension, which means if you want it somewhere like this, you have to hold it there and tighten it off. And then the same is true of this one. They're just dials that you can use to tighten off. And again, it's spring-loaded this way. So it'll, it, you, you push it here and that tension and then watch. I don't want to smash my desk. But again, you can go like this. Um, and then you can um, mount on this. Now here's one of the, um, the oversights. It would be great if there was a way of it functioning so it could twist up. Because at the moment, the only twist it can do is right here. And it does that by loosening that. And then, as you see, you can just go around the world from this little junction here. And you can tie that off at any angle you like. And you're good to go but if it had that here too you could actually turn this multiple ways and you would have full 360 degree on every axis use of the arm but you don't which is slightly frustrating but you can work with it so as you can see it goes into all sorts of configurations which is handy for any need you might have including this. So I've put my Nikon ZFC on this and quite easily it holds up to 1.5 kilos without missing a beat. Um, and you could probably put a touch more on there. On the website, I think it says two kilos, one and a half. If you really want to be safe, I'd just go with them. Um, with sub one, but you could you could get away with one and a half. Um, and what happens is you screw it on here by um, uh, loosening the brake and then this can screw on, so you hold your camera and you just screw it in with this. And when it's nice and tight, you then screw up that. But here's what I found, when you mount something to it, if it's not really tightly squeezed in and it's not jammed in there, you actually wanna hold the tension of it tight and then put the brake on. Because what I found is your camera, if you're trying to do a, say, a top down, so you're trying to mount your camera like this and there's doing a top down and you really need it flat with this, and sometimes that can be hard to achieve. It just slips a little bit here. So it's kind of good to know about that. I reckon if they could fix this aspect of it, it would be just a banging um, product because the it's square alloy, it's all metal apart from the plastic diodes on the front, but everything else is metal and it's really quite a substantial design. Now with this, you get a couple of accessories. You get a GoPro mount, which we've all seen a million times before, so I'm not gonna pull that out. But you get a phone mount, and here's what's called, this is spring-loaded. And this holds my iPhone 13 Pro Max, so it holds big phones. It has a cold shoe here, so you can put another light onto it, or even a microphone if you'd like to. There's a mounting point, a quarter 20 thread here, and a quarter 20 thread here. And some nice grippable um, pants to hold your phone nice and firmly and securely. So it means you can mount it like this, or you can mount it like this. So that's really handy and enables you. I do most of my top downs here, secret. Look now, I do most of my top downs with my phone. 
I just pull the phone out, whack it there, and then in post I color correct so it looks similar to the footage you've seen elsewhere even though the cameras are really quite different. You also have a 3 8 and a 5 8 you have to look at the review for that but you basically have yourself covered so this simply screws on here and transforms a quarter 20 into a 3 8 and the same with this if you take this off you can put that on and make it real real broad the thread yes it's a broad thread I should know what it is but I don't I think the other limitation that it's worth noting is that when it comes to folding this away, you can't really make it nice and snug and neat. Like that's against tension and you don't want to let go of it and just whack, smack your teeth to the other side of the room. Um, you could actually do it more uh, vertically if that's, your, if that's your jam. Let me just see. Yep, that goes down like that, but that is spring-loaded. Like, so... And just be careful you don't really want to lock things against their spring because if the um, there's a lot of pressure put on the locking mechanism and if that fails someone is going to cop this in the eye socket that is not going to be pretty is it so um, I reckon that's a limitation of this I'm not sure if these need to be spring loaded there might be a design reason why they've made these spring loaded to make the whole thing work better and it's also good because it means it doesn't fall down on you like it doesn't collapse if you have a camera the camera's not going to go crashing to the, the desk it means it's it's held up but it also means that it's difficult to actually put this away or tuck it away but you can turn it so just look at this so let's say it's like that and you can actually turn it and get it out of the way. You can get this via Ulanzi's website, so there'll be a link in the description below. Just whack that in, and it'll take you straight to the page, and you can see, um, you can have a look for yourself, see if it's for you. Again, written description down below. I hope this has been helpful, and if you'd like to subscribe, I would strongly encourage you to do so, because this channel is awesome. <laughs> okay, it's hopefully pretty good. And hopefully you get a lot out of it. Hopefully you're inspired and you learn heaps. And I love hanging out with you. And if you're watching this, then hopefully you gain something from it too. So all that rubbish aside, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And this holds my um, iPhone 14, <laughs> 13.